So for part two of our video series, uh, what we're going to be going over is ng storage. So how are we using ng storage in our project? Uh, we're using ng storage to store our values that we're going to be using for authentication. Um, now, ng storage doesn't necessarily just have to be used for this. You can use it to store a lot of different values that you would want to go and retrieve from the API every time. But for the scope of this project, we're just going to be looking at your authorization values in ng storage. So, uh, where do you find ng storage at? You can actually find ng storage at, uh, at this following address here. So it's github.com slash gskli slash ng storage. Now, if you go to that page, uh, you're going to see how to install ng storage and also what ng storage can do. So I usually install ng storage through Bower. So I'm gonna copy that line. And before we move forward and actually install it, uh, note the line right below your installation line there. So it says we are ng storage and not ng storage with an uppercase S. Very important. You have to use a lowercase S when you're installing it, whether it's through Bower or NPM. So let's install uh, ng storage. I actually did that earlier, so I'm going to go through the command again. It's not going to break anything. And you'll see that everything's cached already and it's skipping stuff. It's because I already have it installed. It'll take a little longer with you guys, but you'll see roughly the same thing other than the caching part. So now that we have uh, ng storage installed on our project, uh, you'll be able to find it in the www folder and the lib folder inside of there, and you'll see an ng storage folder with all of the information located there. So the first thing we have to do to use ng storage is we have to include it in our index.html file. Now you'll see I have this highlighted down here, so it's at lib ng storage ng storage.min.js. Uh, one thing to note before we move forward is the location of this file. Now it's very important that this file be located below ionic.bundle.js and above cordova.js. This is very important. It's not going to work if it's not there. So now that we're including the script, uh, what's next here? What do we have to what do we have to in install or inject? So the first thing we have to do in our angular.module is we have to inject ng storage. Note the uppercase S, we're going to be using that from now on instead of the lowercase. And we also need to inject the local storage into our, into our controller. So consider local storage to be like an object. You can add and remove items from local storage and you can retrieve them as well. So how do we use local storage to store our login information? The first thing we did was we extended the do login function. So you can see after we perform our HTTP post where we're passing our email and our password uh, to log in, after a successful return, uh, we are adding the return user ID and token from the Ajax call to your local storage.userid and local storage.token. Now, don't this scope.logedin function we also added, but we're going to cover that in the next video, so don't worry too much about that right now. Um, in addition to that, uh, for this video, we've already we, uh, we also created the scope.logout function, which does about the opposite of those three lines we've seen down here. So these are adding these items, or these are adding the user ID and the token to your local storage. What these are doing is removing it. So we're using the delete command to remove your user ID from local storage and your token. And we're also using that to set your logged in value to false. Um, so we are using local storage in a couple other places, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to cover those in the next video. Uh, in addition to that, we're also going to we're also going to cover how we set up this token here. So uh, join me for the next video, and if you have any questions on ng storage, I can be reached at rob at uitstartup.com, or you can get a hold of me via Slack. I will see you in the third video where we're going to be covering uh, Angular Resolves.